It's time to get the aircraft. There is no point in finding out how much do you have. They don't have anything because it's not in plan. Amen. But because he commanded it, he has a budget for it. And he runs it. Just one example. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Keep sowing the seed. And as the grass grows, the sheep will come for it. The mercy of church grows. The seed is the word of God. Keep pumping the word, my friend. As the grass grows, the sheep will come for it. Keep the grass green. They will lie down there. If you cut some people's neck, this is the church they will belong to. If you cut their neck, they say, this is where I am. <laughs> Put my neck here. Why? They found a green pasture on which to lie down. When you are you assess his ways. You are in command of his house. My friend. And Thanksgiving is the way there. A classical example was in 1997 when her last daughter was accosted with the spirit of death. And then um, they took her off the prophet's house to the hospital. And the prophet went to work. Praise God. Hallelujah. Had a nice time smiling with everybody. Amen. Amen. And they got to my office and sat down and rolled on my chair. Jesus, there's always a way out. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Unveiled. Chai, bounce back to life. Amen. Light. Light. <laughs> Through the mystery of thanksgiving. Not to go, you know, I'm serving you. He said, I don't know. <laughs> eh? Is this how to handle, to treat me? Okay, teach me better way of treating you. <laughs> you want the way out? Thank, praise, worship your way into his presence. Mm -hmm. Then he will show you the way out. But the more you complain, the more angels chase you further from the gate. They don't. Complain around here. Go. Go. Say, what have I done? Just go. They don't complain here. <laughs> you won't miss God anymore. Yeah. You will not miss God anymore. Yeah. You will not miss God anymore. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's very important. Many believers are stranded. Because asset is not there. Thou shalt have a song as in the night. Isaiah 30 verse 29 and 30. As when a holy solemnity is kept, and the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. Light breaking forth with a song in your night season. Come and say a song in the night season. I mean, you know, singing in the night season can be very wonderful. In singing in your night, the night season of your life, you are singing. <laughs> so that's the only way to assess the light from heaven that will bring down your enemies. My God, hmm. the way maker, the covenant keeper, the miracle worker, light in the darkness. My God, that's who you are. Thou shall have a song as in the night. My God, it's a sing, oh barren. Hallelujah. Uh, barren should they sing, but that's the only way to have children. <laughs> sing, oh barren. Send in thy cause. Send thy stakes. Lend in thy cause. You shall bring forth to the right and the left. Plenty of children more than you bargain for. Yeah. But a song. A song that paves the way to the path. That clears the debris of your path. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Come on, give him a big hand of praise. Light has done. Amen. When Thanksgiving becomes a believer's lifestyle, breakthrough becomes his new identity. Thanksgiving is a mystery behind sweatless breakthroughs. Sweatless breakthroughs. 
Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, there shall not be fruit in the vine, and the fruit of the olive, the labor of the olive shall fail, the fish shall yield no flock. <laughs> Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. I know the mystery behind it. And the Lord is my strength. Huh. He will make my feet like hands feet. And they will make me to walk upon my high places. Sweatless breakthroughs rides on the wings of thanksgiving and praise. Sweatless. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Just celebrate my faithfulness. Sing of my mercy. I will take over. <laughs> and now they began to sing. The Lord is good. It's why it's endured forever. Um, God set ambushment against their enemies. They were all smitten. Not one of them escaped. They didn't have to shoot an arrow. What a mystery. Every thanksgiving and praise addict enjoys sweatless breakthroughs. What? Sweatless breakthroughs. You know, Jesus bought this whole land here the first time we came, 530 acres, without an announcement in church. Without what? <laughs> sweatless. Now, from 2.3 acres to 530 acres, you know the gap? Sweatless. No sweat on leadership. No need for discussion in council. Can you get 100? Go and get. Get another 100. You can. Get another 100. You can. Get another one now, my friend. <laughs> sweatless. In the hand of Thanksgiving. You are sweating too much. It's not necessary. No. <laughs> Not necessary. When you walk in the light, pleasures. What do I call it? Pleasures. pleasures. Godly pleasures. You are going to build surprise houses. Amen. You will not be counting pieces of meat in your soup anymore. Amen. Do not be doing as if you have you are fasting when you have a guest. <laughs> you will serve them. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, he said, he's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him by his wall. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know, thus saith the Lord. Sweet. Say with me, thank you, Jesus. May that become your new addiction. In the morning, thank you, Jesus. In the afternoon, thank you, Jesus. In the evening, thank you, Jesus. You lost one tire of your car, thank you, Jesus. What if you lost the four? Which one are you going to jack? Amen. <laughs> your body is not working. Thank God you didn't hit a car. So, has some thanksgiving factor within it. You won't miss it anymore. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. We are all very aware of it. Thanksgiving is a multiplier. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. He said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them. That applies to our lives. If you don't want to remain the same forever, out of you must proceed thanksgiving from a merry heart. From a merry heart. Not superficial thanksgiving. It's laid on your heart. It's coming from your heart. So it's ascending to God. And I will multiply them and it shall not be few. 
I will glorify them. They shall not be small. Jesus lifted up his hands and gave thanks. And five loaves and two fishes multiplied supernaturally to feed 5,000 men only without women and children. Put that together. Average, minimum, 10,000. Through thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, you will not use your mouth to finish God's goodness in your life. Somebody's story has just changed. If that's you, let me hear your loudest. Amen. 